Hi guys, long time no see. Um, beautiful Arizona, Sedona. It's been a hell of hell of a week for me. <laughs> uh, when I was back in Florida, I was visiting a friend and she asked me, uh, tell me a crazy story. Tell me something that's wild that's happened so far on the road. And I said, honestly, I, I don't have any. Um, I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty boring guy. Pretty boring guy these days. So if you're watching this, um, here's your exciting story. Um, so if you happen to see my reel that I made a video uh, a few days ago, a week ago, um, if you wind up, if you wind up making it past the bacon and the mac and cheese scene, you would have realized I sustained a minor injury. Uh, I guess it could have been a lot worse, but um, it wasn't hiking. <laughs> it wasn't doing anything out. Well, I guess it was doing something outdoor, but nothing that you would probably immediately think uh, injury-wise would happen to me. So let's backtrack. Last Tuesday, I'm in Flagstaff. I have an amazing day. Uh, I joined an indoor bouldering gym out here um, or up there. Uh, I'd inquired about some work. Uh, I'd been in the area for almost a week already, and I was just starting to settle in. I was ready to go. I was ready to start my day, following day, hiking, working, um, and just living life out here. So I get to my campsite. Uh, I start making dinner, uh, frying up my bacon, and the grease starts to pool in the corner of the frying pan. And I said, I kind of want to fix that. I don't want to have you know, a grease fire or something near my truck. And, you know, I have a drip off and shit. So I went to adjust the table and the entire table gave away. <laughs> so my human instinct was to go and reach for it and grab it. Uh, it was like the little little child when they bang their head or, or sustain an injury. And there's sort of that delay. And then they start crying and yelling. So as I'm holding on to the, the pan, the oil's... The grease is pouring on me and finally i was just like just let it go i let everything go <laughs> i'm trying to save this thick cut bacon on the ground i'm like wiping the dirt off and then all of a sudden it started to burn and i said fuck so i ran over to the sink of my truck i washed my hand off uh, i had a sweatshirt on which soaked up a lot of the grease uh, looking back i probably should have taken that off immediately but i was kind of in a uh I wouldn't say in shock but just sort of like I didn't want to move my arm too much. I thought I would have made it worse. So um, I washed my hand off and I'm kind of waiting. So I waited about a half an hour. I was kind of going back and forth whether I wanted to go to the ER or not, not having medical. I was like, I don't really want to pay out of pocket. So I gave it some thought. And my hand was not hurting, but it was it was dry. It was, there was something, something in, internally told me to go to the emergency room. So I didn't fight that intuition. So I went there. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm really just laughing at this point, like, what the fuck? <laughs> some sort of message, some sort of sign. So um, I did not let it ruin my my, my vibe or, or my day or, or whatnot. So I'm waiting there, the nurse comes in, she starts taking my, my paperwork, you know, and she's like, if the doctor wants to write you a script, what pharmacy do you want to go to? I said, I'm not interested in antibiotics or prescriptions, none of that, so, okay. Doctor comes in, doctor looks at me, looks at my hand. He says, that's a third degree burn. Uh, I'm not a doctor. I don't claim to be a doctor. Um, I'm very appreciative, appreciative of all the help, all the work that they did to clean up my wound. Um, but I looked and I said to myself, that, that's not third degree. <laughs> he looked at my arm. He asked me about a tetanus shot. Last time I got a tetanus shot, I said, I'm not sure. I said, well, if I don't get one, he looks at me very adamantly and says, you can die. Okay, <laughs> um, so he leaves, uh, he comes back in, he's like, I want you to follow up at the Phoenix burn unit tomorrow. And again, I'm looking and I'm saying to myself, this doesn't look that bad, like what's going on here? Um, so I wind up getting a tetanus shot. I wasn't against it, I had it before as a child. Um, there was nothing internally that said don't get it. Um, so if you want to get on me about vaccine, the V word, go ahead. But, uh, that didn't have the term operation warp speed behind it. <laughs> Just saying there. Um, so the nurse comes back in and, 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 oh, the doctor says he's more worried about my hand than my arm. 
He says it's 30 degree The nurse winds up coming back in. The nurse says, we're more worried about your arm than your hand. So she's like, do you want pain meds? I said, no, I'm good. It doesn't hurt. She was like, I was in a really long uh, tattoo session. She's like, we'll see about that after, after we wrap it up. She wraps it up. She goes out. She comes back in. She's like, the doctor wants to write you a script. I said, oh, listen, I, I'm, I'm so happy what you guys did. I'm so appreciative that you cleaned it out. I don't want prescriptions. The doctor comes in. He's like, listen, do you want pain medications or not? I said, no. I said, I'm fine. I said, you guys got sort of twisted my arm on doing the um, tetanus shot, but I did it anyway. And he left. So the nurse wrapped me up, and, and that was it. I left. Um, so I talked to a couple people, um, and I decided on just kind of giving it a, a day, kind of see how, how it reacted. You know, if I felt the need to go to the burn center the following day, I would have. But I just internally didn't feel like I, I needed to. So that night, you know, again, I talked to a few people. And I had said, all right, I hear you, slow down. And it's not that I was cooking quick. I really wasn't doing anything quick, but my mindset was really in this mode of like, go, 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 work, get out there, start working, start hiking, da, 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 da. Uh, and now I've really been moving, moving around a lot since September. So I said, all right, I do this, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I'm just gonna not do anything. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I did nothing. I, I let nature heal me. Um, I let my body heal me. I let the sun heal me. Uh, I watched the sun come up. I watched the sun go down. I watched the stars spin around my head. I saw the moon. I heard coyotes howling. Um, I got some things done that I probably wouldn't have done had I, had I kept moving. So, um, brain fart total lock hang in there with me hang in there just a little bit more so yeah the entire the entire experience you know very lucky uh oh the outtake the outtake form said my hand first degree burn my arm second degree burn so no mention of third degree burns at all so um you know it goes back to just following your intuition following how you feel you know, uh, they gave me some cream. So yeah, a little bit of science. I used a little bit of science. I, I used the doctors, they, they cleaned me up, but also nature, you know, I, I don't need these pain meds. I don't need the antibiotics. You know, if it was really, really that bad, you know, but yeah, I would have probably hopped on them, but you know, I used my intuition. My intuition said, go, at least get it clean, get it looked at, come back, chill for a few days and, and let it heal up. So I'm happy to say, Blisters are down, um, swelling's down, and you know I'm almost a week into it, and I'm just taking extra precautions with my hand right now because there is a blister left on there, and we'll go from there. So, um, main point: trust your intuition. As I say, keep asking questions. Don't let these people that think they're above you dictate how how you feel, how you want to live where you want to live, when you want to live. Um, I'm not against anarchy. <laughs> Someone mentioned to me recently about how they were, were surprised I wasn't in the mix-up in the, they were jokingly, wasn't in the Capitol Hill storm. And that's not me. I'm not there. I'm just out here chilling, doing my thing. So um, that's it. I hope you made it nine minutes in. Man, if you made it nine minutes in, you're a very special person. So thank you so much. And uh, if you watched my videos last year from out here, you know how beautiful it is. I hope you back to you hiking out here very, very soon. So uh, I'm headed to my house now for six weeks. I can't wait to be in a house and a bed and a shower for six weeks. And then I'll be probably back out into nature for a month, month and a half. So again, come visit me. Come go again, go against the orders. Come out here, see how beautiful it is. They're just flexing their muscle, guys. That's all I can say. Um, see you soon. Bye.